Well, hello everybody. Um, yeah, what can I say? The moment when you start a YouTube channel and you really, you know, you're full of excitement, you think everything will go fine, you, you'll hit the thousand subscribers quickly, you'll get your watch time, you know, it's all very exciting. And for some people, um, you know, their channel grows very quickly um, there are little tricks you can use if you know certainly if you have a, a personality that matches the quality of your videos um, then your channel grows quicker um, it helps obviously if you look a certain way and you know there are lots of things that add to your channel and how it, it works um, but you know it's a journey that for some takes a long time I'm now at almost to the day, two years into my YouTube journey, and I've just gone over the 1,000 subscribers. Um, so, you know, it wasn't the quick journey I'd hoped for. Um, if you guys want me to share a little bit about the ups and downs of that and what I've noticed about YouTube, for instance, you know, I got to around five, I think it was 500 subscribers. Um, and then I started losing huge chunks of subscribers, um, you know, in stages. So it wasn't like the what I'm used to losing the odd one or two here and there. These were blocks of 10 to 20 that would just get wiped off my channel. Um, and that was done on a regular basis for over a month. And then it calmed down again. Um, I don't know exactly what the algorithm was up to during that time, but um, it certainly wasn't individuals cancelling themselves off. Um, and then, yeah, everything started to grow back again as normal, but not as fast. So up to 500, um, I steadily grew and got to like plus 50 a month, sometimes plus 60. And then after I did that purge on my channel, I grew 20 to 30 a month. So I got slowed down pretty hard. Um, I don't know exactly um, how that worked. Anyway, I won't go into that, but um, it was a bit, bit disheartening around that period. And I guess others who may hit that um, period might also find that a bit difficult to work through. But patience, um, you know, I've met some incredible people, very generous, very kind, very thoughtful people through my journey with YouTube. And that I hadn't actually um, thought of when I first started my channel. Uh, I really enjoy metal detecting and I thought it would be nice to share it. And of course, you, you've you watched channels like Green Mountain Detecting and um, Chill Bill and um, uh, Aqua Chigger and, you know, some of these big channels. Um, and you think, ah, oh, yeah, there's no problem. I can do that, too. And of course, it turns out, you know, a lot is down to your equipment, um, the way you film. I, I My early videos were terrible. Um, I thought they were good and I thought I was improving. I even sent some of the videos to other YouTubers, bigger channels who very um, generously offered to look at them. And I didn't hear back from any of them because my videos were uh, awful, um, but they just didn't want to tell me. And, you know, I got to then understand as I was growing, OK, um, a shaky camera work, the audio is bad, the uh, type of equipment I'm using is not good, I'm not engaging right, you know, I'm not finding good stuff. It's, it was, you know, complicated times with, with working out how to produce a channel that others would like to watch. Uh, and I've noticed a lot also with permissions. Um, some of them, you they're dead. You know that you you can walk for an hour and not find a signal, or find a piece of aluminium, or a bottle top, or something. And then you get other permissions where every step there's a signal. So a lot of what you find is down to your permission, not so much down to the quality of your metal detector. Although I think. Um, you know, some of the detectors I'm using, like the Deus 2, that really, it's an impressive machine. It's, I'm not raving about it the same as some others are, I guess, because it's up against, I've put it up against my multi-cruiser, which is a solid machine. 
And the single frequency machines, in my opinion, often hit deeper than the multi-frequency. So it, the depth for me so far has not been impressive. But the target ID on that machine and other things about it have really impressed me. So I'll do a video about that soon because I, I've got about 50 hours on the machine so far. Um, and I, I still need more to learn it. But um, yeah, there's some interesting things. I'll try and put something together soon. Anyway, I'm talking all the time. I apologize for that. But if you want to know more about my story and how I've got on with YouTube and, and the ups and the downs, then I'm happy to share the insights that I've um, collected. So what is this all about? Well, um, this is my 1000 subscriber giveaway comment video. I'm going to start with a mail call and then we'll get on to showing you the prizes. Um, and there are some extras coming from different people. So I'm very grateful to all of you for supporting my channel. And um, also for those who donate to my channel, I am super grateful to you because you really help me with what I try to achieve. And once I get over my watch time and uh, start getting some advertising money, I will put that money back into my channel to, to get better equipment, to uh, produce better films, um, and also to provide prizes for you guys. So um, I do like to give back to the community. It's something that for me, I don't do to gain subscribers. I do it because I actually enjoy it. Um, and I will continue to do so because that's something that I enjoy doing. And I want to also put some force behind supporting other channels. So I'm going to include some of my giveaways um, on behalf of other channels. So uh, I'm still working on details of, of how to do that. And, um, you know, any advice or anything that you guys want to share with me, please do. So anyway. I keep talking, I don't shut up, um, but anyway, let me bring you around without making you feel sick. Just wanted to show you something a bit quickly. Um, I don't know if this will, oh no, wait a minute, I will flick cameras. Hang on, be right back. Right, so, let my camera adjust to the light. I do like this camera for doing that. Um, this is a silver fork that I got actually at Christmas time. I think it's beautiful. Um, and some of you will recognize the top there as Delft. So it was, I mm, can't really see it properly, the light. Mm, maybe you can get it. Yeah, I think you can get it there. Um, yeah, so maybe the torch isn't really helping with this. Let me switch that off for a moment. This was a Christmas gift because I, I know some people know that I love silver. So I was given this. I'm very grateful. I actually used to collect Delft also. So this was a really nice thing to add to my silver collection. And this, which is extraordinary. It's um, got a little totem on the top of this. It's a spoon. It's, I wouldn't say crude, but um, look at this. I mean, this is fantastic. I guess it's handmade. There's a lot of detail in it. The writing, I can't quite make out. I have to get it under a microscope to look at it. It's incredible. The, deep, the workmanship that's gone into this. And again, I'm very grateful that I was given this as a Christmas present. Um, I think these things are amazing that somebody's made this and possibly used it. It's beautiful. Anyway, I want to say a huge thank you to some of my subscribers. I got a letter. Uh, dear Nathaniel, you are always so kind and generous to others, including myself. I thought you may like these two Isle of Man coins. 2019, 30th anniversary of Steve Hislop's 120 mile per hour lap, 15,000 minted. Um, Hislop and map of Isle of Man. And the other Steve Hislop's um, 
TT win in 2019, 12,500 minted Steve um, motorcycles. Take care, love Judith from Squirreling Coins. Now, I gotta say, these are wonderful. Now, I am a motorcyclist. I really enjoy spending time on the motorbike, so I'm very, very happy. Let me try and, sorry about the noise of the camera. What noise of the camera? My camera's not doing anything, okay. Doesn't matter. I think you can just about make out the detail there, the queen there. So I'm very happy with these. These are limited edition. I know, no gloves, I know, I know, sorry. Um, Judith, you've mentioned that before. I will try and get some gloves sorted soon. Now this was a total surprise. Thank you, brother Nathaniel. Now, I'm gonna add some of these into some of my, um, can I do that one-handed? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be him or me, uh, but either way, he's smiling, so it's cool. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. You are awesome. Thank you, Nathaniel, Gary's Metal Detecting and some really amazing stickers. I still haven't got any stickers made up for myself. I'm very, very grateful to you, Gary, for sending me that. It's really amazing. And, you know, it's people like you, Gary, and Judith. You're the ones who I make this channel for, actually. Because I'm very grateful to you guys. And this is from B. Higgles. Oh, there we go. Bring it round. B. Higgles, treasure hunting, kayak fishing, shears, um, stickers, B. Higgles. Um, so I'll be adding some of these into the giveaways too. Spreading the love. And he also sent me this. I mean, look at this. Um, Winged Liberty or Mercury Dimes. There are three of them. Two Rosy Dimes two um, Indian buffalo nickels, a steel scent um, award uh, coin, and the um, Indian head penny, IHP. Uh, Gary, thank you very, very much. I don't know exactly what to say about that. I am very grateful. There are other things I've been sent, but um, I haven't actually got them all because it depends where they've been sent to. So as soon as I um, get myself organized, I will do, Oops, sorry about the noise, I will do more of a show. So where are we? Let's have a look. First prize, I don't know why my camera is not zooming very well today. It doesn't want to work, but it's got an assay certificate. It's one gram of gold, 999. So it's as pure, 999.9, .9, I think. Yeah, so it's as pure as it can get. It's a really nice little one gram bar of gold. Got the number with it. That will be first prize. Second prize. I think I mentioned before that um, this is a, a 1700s hammered Bilong coin, so it's got silver in it, but um, it's a lovely little coin, um, and it has, you know, some detail on it, but it's a little worn in places. So adding to that will be this two Heller coin from 1845, I think it is. Yeah, 1845, so two Hellas, and it has the shield there with the crown on. It's actually a really nice coin, I do like that. I don't know if I can, um, yeah, maybe I can get a bit closer that way. Yeah, okay, I can, cool. Um, I don't know, sometimes this camera works and sometimes it doesn't with the autofocus. Um, 1921, this would be third prize. Now, this is not done in order of what's worth more or less. Um, I've just done this in this order. Um, so, you know, I'm doing the best that I can, but I'm not trying to say one is worth more than another. 
Um, third prize will be the 1921 Morgan dollar. And actually, I, I love these. These are my favorite coins, or one of my favorite coins. I have quite a few now. Um, yeah, I can't seem to get them anymore. And they're difficult for me to get hold of, so I won't be giving too many of those away anymore. Um, but anyway, um, I can at the moment. It will be fourth prize, will be the 1922 Morgan Peace Dollar. Also, beautiful coin. Next is an interesting one. It's uh, five francs for 1874. Um, it's Really quite beautiful. Liberty, Equality, Fraternity. Um, liberty, Equality and Brotherhood, I guess, is something similar to what it would be um, uh, translated into. Um, next will be Walking Liberty. Um, USA is 1945, so right at the end of the war. It's in quite nice condition. Yeah, that will be the next one. Um, so that's number six, I think. Number seven um, is the uh, Benjamin Franklin uh, or Benji dollar with the bell, also in very nice condition. Number eight is a 1964 90% silver Kennedy half. And then two, for the ladies in the house, two silver pendants. They are stamped um, 925, two different types. Um, and, you know, if you, if you win that and you don't want it, then, then let me know and I'll try and find an alternative. Um, but yeah, so this is the arrangement of, of prizes that we have. Um, there are 10 prizes done by myself. Uh, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, with the French coin, sixth, seventh, eighth, and then ninth and tenth with the silver pendants. Now, next will be this. Now, this is a um, wonderful uh, donation from our dog treasure hunter. I've got to say, I'm very grateful to you, my friend. Um, it's a beautiful ring, actually. I wouldn't mind winning that myself. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And it's an amazing gift from an amazing channel. I'll put a link to him below. Go and check him out because he makes amazing videos. And that's a lot of amazings. Um, <laughs> anyway. <coughs> so. I don't know how to do the next part. Now, there was... Um, a prize going to be sent to me by Dino Detects. I haven't had anything from him, so I'm going to put a mystery silver item, could be a coin, could be something else, in place of anything that Dino was going to send. Um, I don't, he hasn't let me know that he sent it, so I have to message him to see if he did send anything. But um, anyway, I will be providing a prize in place of what he hasn't sent. Um, and yeah, that's, um, I can't show you what he was going to send because I don't actually know what he was going to send. And there will be a prize here, which obviously is not here, um, uh, from the treasure rangers. They are making some handmade knights, knights. Um, so I think they're making them out of pewter. Um, they do some really lovely things. There will be some probably some stickers and different things that they'll add into that and that's um, a very cool prize for To be added Thank you very much treasure rangers for doing that um, Right now detector Kev He's adding a prize to this giveaway and I will put a picture up now Well, hopefully the picture went up now. <laughs> um, I hope that worked. Uh, it's a wonderful pendant that he's made. Um, and 
it's um, yeah it's beautiful so that will be added as another prize um, I don't know where we are now it's sort of it says 14 I think um, there will be uh, something special added in by Vossi at Treasure and Treats. It will be a group of Irish uh, pre-decimals, I think, or, or decimal coins. Um, anyway, I, I may be slightly wrong with the, the description, but they will be Irish coins that he has found while metal detecting. There's quite a, a selection that he's got, so I'll put a picture of what he has um, now if I can. And last but by no means least is something sent by Anglo Detecting Unearthing Our Past. Um, now, uh, there are two items that will be sent out to one very lucky winner to help with displaying your uh, metal detecting finds and also for a display of Stonehenge. They're beautifully done. I will put some pictures up um, now. hopefully um yeah and i think that's everyone i don't know that's 15 16 prizes um so this is going to be a big one um if there's there may be some more additions before um the end of it what i'm going to do is um do a live stream for you guys so i'm hoping that you guys would you guys will join me um I've never done a live before, so I'm new to all this um, camera, trying to work out how to um, sort out how to do the live shows and things. So that's a new one for me. I'll do a test before um, and see if it works. And then I'll do a live where I do the prizes. I don't know exactly how comment picker or I don't know whether you guys prefer like the dock races, but I can figure out how to do that. I don't even know how to do that. Um, I'll think of something. And if you guys have a recommendation, then let me know. Um, perhaps a random comment picker is going to be the easiest, but we'll have a look and see. Um, you don't have to be a subscriber to be in with a chance of winning. Uh, you All you have to do is drop a comment below and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. There's there's no nothing, no special words or anything. Just, just put a comment below. Um, it's open worldwide so anybody can enter and um, Vossi and um, I can't remember. There was a, another winner for Detector Kev's giveaway that I did. Uh, Chakraborty, I think his name is from India. I haven't sent your prizes out yet. I'm going to send them out after I've done this in case you guys win one of these coins and I can send things together. Um, that's if you enter. I think that's pretty much covered it. There may be some extra prizes that I've forgotten in this one. I hope not, but I'll do an addendum as Vossi often does if I need to, uh, a little addition. If anybody wants to donate anything extra to add in as a prize, then you can do. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying out a live where I do give all these prizes away and spend some time with you guys. And maybe I'll do, you know, maybe a once a month live if I have some special things. I'm going to also try and uh, schedule some more videos where I'm there when I release it so that I can talk with some of you guys. I'm still learning, still growing, still trying to develop what I'm doing. So I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. And I've talked your ears off enough. Um, so I'm going to leave you for the rest of the week. Um, thank you. Well, not really. Um, but anyway, at least for today. Um, thank you very much for all of your kind support. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Some of you have supported my channel for a long, long time. You know who you guys are. Um, I'm very grateful to all of you. Um, new and old, you, I really appreciate everyone. Thank you very much and moving on.